Hello, so today we're going to design a Lego in Art Shape. And as I walk through this step by step, feel free to pause, rewind, so sort of do what you need to do so that you can follow along with this tutorial. So here I am in my main menu. I'm going to click on Create and make a new document. I'm going to call this Lego. So now that I'm in my Lego document, I'm going to start sketching uh, the top of the Lego. So I'm going to click on my top plane and sort of draw it you know, top down view. And I'm then going to click on sketch. And I always then right click and choose view normal to sketch plane. So I'm looking down uh, straight above that top plane. Personally, I also then like to hide those planes. I don't need them anymore. As a reminder, this here, uh, the tendency for a lot of students is to click that green check mark right away. Uh, only click that once you have done drawing. So sort of leave that there for now. So to make the main body of my Lego, I need a rectangle. So I'm going to come up here and choose the center point rectangle. And I'm going to click so that way I want my cursor to be directly over the origin. And it's going to turn sort of orange like that indicating there's a coincident relationship between them. I'm then going to click and drag outward. Now, if I hover my mouse over these two sides, I can enter my dimensions right now. So the long part of my Lego is going to be 31.8 millimeters. And the other side is going to be 15.8. And I should mention before you even start doing this, you should check to make sure for the workspace units, you want to be in millimeters, not inches, not centimeters. So please double check that. So here is my sketch again. And I have 15.8 and 31.8 millimeters. So that's good for now. So I'm going to end my sketch and I'm going to click on extrude. It's asking me for a face to extrude. I'm going to click on my rectangle. There it is, and the Lego has a height of 9.6 millimeters. I'm going to type in 9.6. There we go. So there's the main body of my Lego. I now need to sketch on top of my Lego. So I'm going to click create a new sketch. Only this time, instead of choosing a plane, I'm actually going to choose the top face of my Lego. Once again, I'm going to right click and view normal to sketch plane. So I'm doing a typical uh, four by two Lego brick. So I need to draw a center point circle. And I'm just gonna kind of draw a small circle somewhere on my Lego. I can now type in the diameter of my circle, which is 4.8 millimeters. Now, if I hit escape to get on my circle tool, Say you forgot to put in this number. So let's get rid of that measurement right now. Right, so there's my circle. If you need to add the diameter afterwards, we use our dimension tool. So the dimension tool is right here. You can click on that or you can press D on the keyboard. And then you just click on the outer part of the circle and you type in 4.8. So you can always do it. You, can, you know, it's easier to dimension while you're sketching. But you can always go back and do it after the fact. We now need to I uh, give this circle a place on our Lego. And looking at the diagram that I have, I know that it's 3.9 millimeters from this edge as well as this edge, going from the middle of the circle. So while my dimension tool is still active, I'm going to click on the middle part of my circle, click on this outer edge, and I'm going to make that 3.9 millimeters. I'm going to do the same, again, click on the middle part of the circle, as well as whoops, this edge up here. And this one is also going to be 3.9 millimeters. Right, so the middle part of my circle is exactly 3.9 millimeters from both of these edges. So that's all I need to do. I'm gonna click the green check mark. I'm then going to extrude again. I'm going to click on my circle. Now pay attention up here, right? So we have options for new, add, remove, and intersect. 
Right now it's choosing add, which is what we want. So if I leave it as add, it's gonna add this to my main Lego parts. So we have one part down below. If I were to change this to new, it's gonna make two parts. So if I were to 3D print this, this would be a separate piece in the main Lego. That's not what we want. We wanna just add it to the main Lego component. And I know that this happens to be 1.9 millimeters height. So there we go. So there's my first little knob for my Lego. Now the fun part. So rather than sketching out all of these circles, which we could easily do, we're going to use the linear pattern, right? So right here we have two types of patterns, or three of them, linear, circular, and curve. We're gonna do a linear pattern. And right off the bat, it suggests that you pattern a part. This is actually a feature, right? So it's over here in our little feature tree. We're going to pattern this feature. So we're going to click on our circle. We then click on the direction, and it's asking for a direction. So you can click on the top or the bottom edge, indicating that we're going to pattern left to right. The distance in between each well, knob is going to be eight millimeters, and we are going to have four of them. Now notice, it's actually doing the part in the opposite direction, so I can click on this arrow and have it go the way that I want. So now that I pattern that way, so there's my four little knobs, you can actually do a second direction as well. So it's asking what direction you want to pattern in. I'm gonna click this line, again for the edge, and we're gonna have two rows. So I'll change this to a two. And again, we're gonna be eight millimeters apart. Again, we want the opposite direction. Just change the arrow. That's all you need to do. All right, so rather than sketching and extruding eight of those, all you need to do is one and then use the pattern tool to do the rest. Right? It makes it a lot easier. So now that we've done the top, we're now going to look at the bottom of our Lego, and I'm going to shell this out. So I'm gonna remove a bunch of material. So this here is my shell tool. It says what face to remove. I'm going to click on this face right here. Now right now, it's giving me a wall of about 2.5 millimeters. For a Lego, that should actually be 1.2. One point two millimeters, and there we go. So now I've shelled out. I've removed the material from the bottom. We now need to add those three large cylinders on the bottom, uh, so that way that's where what connects to the fence on the top. So I'm going to do one more sketch. I'm going to sketch from the bottom. And again, I'm going to right click and do normal to sketch plane. Notice over here we're now looking from the bottom. We're no longer looking down from the top. So I'm going to uh, use the fact that the origin is exactly in the middle to my advantage. So I'm going to actually make two center point circles. The first one is going to have a diameter of 4.8. Going to make another one, the diameter of 6.5. I'll then hit escape to get off of my circle tool. So there's my two measurements. So the inner circle, 4.8, outer circle, 6.5. I'm going to click the check mark, and I'm then going to extrude. I'm, I'm not going to click on both of the circles. I'm just going to click on this outer region here. And this is how it's going to extrude, which is what I want. And as far as like the depth of this, um, so we've been using blinds where we basically write down the depth. We're going to do something different. We're going to choose up to face. And I'm going to click on this face here. And so what it's going to do is it's going to extrude it up to this bottom part of the Lego. I'm going to click the green check mark. So there's my first circle. We're going to do another linear pattern now to make the other two. So once again, I'll click on my linear pattern. It's asking me, again, for a part, I'm going to choose a feature. I'm going to choose this feature. The direction, again, you can choose any line going left to right. 
I'm going to change the direction once again to eight. And this time, so right now there's two of them, I can actually click on where it says centered. So what this is going to do is it's going to save my original circles in the center, and it's going to make one on either side. Click my green check mark, and I'm done. That's all there is to it. There's a Lego brick, fully designed and on chip. All right, thank you for watching.